Hi I'm a fit young white male Who loves BBW Why don't we chat And see where things may We'll see where things may go Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Rick and Morty Christmas special. My name is Leon Lush, joined here, as always, with... Your daddy. And we are so delighted that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with us today. Isn't that right, bud? I am the opposite of delighted. I'm sorry? This channel sucks. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh. I give him every chance to be an amicable sidekick, and he always, always lets me down. Anyhow, we're just chilling today, okay? I know sometimes I get heated on this channel when we're taking the piss out of people on the internet, but really, I just need a... I need a Zen moment today. One of the ways I like to do that is to is to find things on the internet that that spark romance, right? I'm married. I got a kid, so sometimes you really need to make that extra effort to keep the romance brewing in the relationship. And one of the ways I like to do that is to head over to what I consider probably the most romantic place on the internet, and that is Craigslist Misconnections. <music> There's nothing more romantic than some old creep sitting in a Chipotle eye-fucking some young broad eating her burrito bowl for 45 minutes, making her extremely uncomfortable, and since he doesn't have the balls to say anything in the moment, he takes to Craigslist afterwards to post about it in hopes that the cosmic universe will align the stars, and somehow she'll see it, hit him up, and then later that night he'll be slapping cheeks while they're listening to R. Kelly's Bump and Grind on his brand new Sonos Play Bar. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking about the place you go on the internet when you're convinced that you've seen your soulmate at a stoplight, but the light turned green too quick and you didn't have time to knock her out with an ether rag and throw her in your trunk, bring her home, put her in the basement until you could convince her that you were meant to be together. Saw you in savers. We caught eyes several times. I had abstract painting I was looking at. You cart with filled flowered skirt with black top and ankle boots. You were the most beautiful woman. All the curves were perfect and seemed to know where my eyes were. I would give anything to meet you. Ladies, if you don't get a little bit wet when you hear me read that, don't even try and pretend like you're a romantic because you're not this song is called you were in Fanua Hall on Wednesday uh, great pants what an ass what an ass absolutely perfect what an ass what an ass lucky hubby Lucky hobby. <laughs> so this guy saw a random woman at Faneuil Hall and thought to himself, you know what? I'm going to take my shot. Posted to Craigslist Misconnections, what an ass. Absolutely perfect. Lucky hubby. In hopes that this random stranger might log on to Misconnections, see this and think, you know what? My husband's all right, but this guy, let's give it a shot couple hours later they're slapping cheeks seems like a reasonable way of thinking like a reasonable way to live who the f posts these things young lift rider looking for handsome chubby driver Yo, what's up dollar shave bro <laughs> wait what's that talk about your sponsor dog oh snap nigel you right good looks i was getting a little carried away with the romance but today ladies and gentlemen i'm happy to announce we are working with the og sponsor of the leon lush youtube channel you know i'm talking about dollar shave club that has kept me fresh to death since day one so please integration leon if you could take it away for me thanks loud shirt leon listen guys you've heard me say it dollar shave club i love them i use their products i've been partnered with them now for over a year they treat me right, they take care of creators on YouTube, and they have fantastic products that I've been using for a long time, even before I started working with them. And they let me be myself, so I can headbutt Nigel Min integration, it's all good, baby! Everyone appreciates good hygiene and proper grooming, and guess what? Dollar Shave Club has what you need. Oral care products, hair styling products, shower products, butt wipes, skin care products, and most recently, this groundskeeper deodorant and antiperspirant. If you watch my videos, you know that sometimes I struggle with the underarm wet spots. Recently switched to this groundskeeper antiperspirant, and no meme, it's keeping me drier than a piece of white toast in a broiler. Right now, they're offering their shave, shower, and oral care starter kits for just $5 each. Now, the shave kit is their flagship, which I use, and it's flipping great, but they have so many more 
fantastic products that I stand by and their convenience is unmatched. So join the club today with one of their starter sets for just $5. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at the regular price. So use my link dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Leon Lush to get going with one of their starter kits. You can find that link in the description and in the top comment. I really wouldn't recommend it so hard if I didn't think it could absolutely bring you value. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. You picked me up in a lift headed home from Logan. I was the 20 something white guy and you were a handsome chubby dad. We got stuck in traffic together when the traffic light went out. I'm straight but bi-curious and was very attracted to you, so let me know if you want to try and have some fun. Talk about just a breeding ground for happily ever after love stories. I gotta know though, sarcasm aside, have you or anyone that you know ever linked up with someone through a Craigslist misconnection? Please let me know because I have to believe that not every person posting on this website is just left in the dark with just a sad, broken heart. There has to be a, a, a story of the misconnection that became a connection and blossomed into something beautiful, and I must know what it is. I'm sure you're here somewhere, sexy and fun, and need a little help. I'm here waiting. I'm a man looking for a lady. I don't even know why people use Tinder, to be honest. You gotta make a profile, upload a photo, all these extra steps where you could just upload something like this to Craigslist. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This guy's inbox is probably filled with sexy and fun women. You've got mail. Looking to give him a little help since he's here waiting, looking for a lady. He sat next to me at the bar yesterday. You are younger, I am older Would you like to get together? Together in my place My place to massage you Massage you, 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 massage you Handsome older man. Well, you have my attention. I don't find myself usually attracted to men pushing 50, but you got my attention. It's rare for men our age to be in good shape. Tell me about it. We met in an LA fitness. We both agreed men our age must work high. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's me. <clears throat> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not pushing 50 yet. Get the out of here couple more months at least looking for my bud that would drop by on occasion and talk man-to-man -man stuff on occasion that's negative three points we got a redundant use of occasion our lives changed and we lost contact would like to reconnect and see what's going on in life again let me know what you drove and how we first met so i know it's you hope to talk soon okay whatever happened to facebook for the boomers right why are we posting on misconnections to try to find an old friend you used to talk to i just don't get it but i do hope that you find your long lost bud i really do bless Cute heavy set guy at mobile station on Neponset Parkway. I think you are so cute. I was just in there about a half hour ago and you said this soda has expired, so I got a newer one. You're a big guy, heavy set, but carry it well, rugged and adorable. You're from Puerto Rico and we have talked about Puerto Rico in the past. I'm in there probably a couple times a week and I always enjoy seeing you and talking with you. You're also a nice guy to boot. If you see this, which I think is highly unlikely, understatement of the century, you'll know who I am take care okay clearly this guy is a stone cold killer you don't bust out the this soda has expired pickup line unless you're packing at least nine and a half thick inches there's no wonder this girl's picking her panties up after the floor after this encounter and scrambling to craigslist to try and hit up the misconnections and pray to god that she can get piped down by this mobile station clerk <laughs> hey how are you i'm just getting the coke today yeah whatever this soda has expired <laughs> Take notes, gentlemen. If you're having trouble with the females, look no further than the cute heavyset guy at mobile station and his this soda has expired technique. Now, normally information this vital, I would package up into some sort of ebook that I would sell for $49.95 and some sort of YouTube pre-roll ad, but today, well, today this one's on me. When I went out to my car late last night, you were squatting down pissing between two parked cars. Sorry I startled you. Only was trying to help. You were pretty drunk, left your panties in one shoe. I have both, naturally. I want the panties, but you can have your shoe back. Lots of lettuce. You were thin, blonde, and cute. Please contact me. I have something else for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Typical day out at Jordan's Furniture, I imagine. You know what? I got your panties in the shoe. You can have the shoe back, but 
so sorry, the panties are mine. And I also have one other thing for you if you want to link up. I'm not going to tell you uh, exactly what it is, but you might be able to take a guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's this lacy hard drive right here. I know that might strike you as strange, but uh, stealing strangers' panties and giving away external hard drives are a couple of guilty pleasures of mine. We were both shopping, both wearing baseball caps. You, you had a cartload of stuff Maybe for your family Ah, yeah, I saw you I could not look away And you, you smiled at me I saw a smile right back and said I haven't stopped thinking about Thinking about you since you are incredibly beautiful. You're beautiful, you dumb bitch. <laughs> okay, so full disclosure, I may have added those last three lyrics myself. I took the liberty. And uh, UMG, if you're watching this, I promise that was not uh, a cover of Latch by Sam Smith in Disclosure. I may have borrowed the melody in the chords, but I changed the lyrics. So if you could if you could not copyright strike this video, that would be a, a just a huge up top high five for me. Um, go, go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. Hello. I've been there a bunch of times and you were always super nice. I wasn't really sure if I should ask you out at your place of work, so I figured I'd try this. Hope it works. <laughs> oh, it's definitely gonna work. No question. Gentlemen, just shoot your shot for the love of Pete. You know, I've been out of the game for a minute. And it's 2019, I know the lines are a little bit blurred. I'm not sure what the rules are when it comes to asking people out at their place of work, if that's considered like assault or something. I, I don't know, but, but the, the point is, if you don't ask, it's an automatic no. But if you do ask, it's most likely you know, but there's a small chance. There's a small chance you get a yes. And if they say no, which is probable, big deal. You brush that shit off and move to the town over and go to that auto zone and find a cute blonde. <laughs> because there's 8 billion people in the world and statistically pe- uh, sp God! There's 8 billion people in the world and statistically speaking, one of them's bound to say yes. The only problem is if they say no and you continue to badger and pursue, just move on to the next one. There's so many people in the flipping, flipping world. What are you doing? Just ask. Take your flipping, flipping shot. Or, alternatively, you could just continue posting to Craigslist misconnections uh, and enjoy <laughs> continuing to masturbate for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you felt the romance and I hope you felt the tunes. I do appreciate you watching. I want to thank Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring. Love those guys to death. And I want to thank you for watching my videos uh, and allowing me to do what I do. This fly shirt you see right here, along with some others, is available at tomatomafia.com. The link's in the description. If you could subscribe, if you're new, that would mean the world. And I love when you leave comments because I do enjoy reading through those. And the last thing I will ask you to do, go to your nearest auto zone and ask out the first person you see. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. And if they say yes, well, congratulations, you're off the hook for this video. But if they say no, and I'm counting on them to say no, you politely apologize for wasting their time. You wait till they leave, and then you slowly unbutton your buckle, pull down your pants, and you hip thrust that motherfucking like button like your life depended on it. Thank you so much. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.